T. Rabburn. He's got lots of questions for us. Yeah, he does. Uh, he asks, I just finished episode 167, and I had a thought about Wi-Fi in the RC park. I've seen FPV pilots using some kind of tracking directional antenna that follows the quad as it flies around. I'd love to know what they use for that because I want to know how <laughs> to build one for myself for multiple purposes. I want to make my own that I can use like a solo shot at my church. What's a solo shot? It's, it follows you. It's a camera oh, okay. follows you. Uh, so my wandering preacher is always in the frame, okay. It could also be used to keep two cantennas pointed at each other in the above scenario from episode 167. So does anyone have some know-how of do-it-yourself for this? There is an antenna. I like this. this is my co-host now. This antenna is my co-host. Mm -hmm. Am I so easily replaced, Padre? Well, it has more personality, so... Ouch! Oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> okay, all right, now, so this... This is one of the directional antennas that he's talking about. Now, the, mm -hmm. the device that he's speaking of specifically, it's, um, it's an auto tracker. So what it does is it, it looks for signal and it tries to stay on the signal. So as your quadcopter moves, it will move this directional antenna. Now we know, cool. we know from previous episodes of Know How, a directional antenna will give you gain in both ways. It will give right. you more power going out directly to where your target is, and it'll have better gain coming back in mm -hmm. so that you can get better reception, right? Yep. So with an FPV system, we've got something like this. Uh, and actually, can you go to that, that input now, Alex? This, this, yeah, there we go. There so it this is. is that FPV camera that we played with before. It has a... Uh, yeah, Steady. Steady. Steady, steady. Uh, what, you, what you want to worry about, though, is when you start moving around Whoa. really quickly... If you have a directional, Padre just killed the audience. I just killed the audience. If you have a directional antenna, mm -hmm. uh, and you're and you're trying to, to keep it focused on this, you have to have someone who like aims it directly for the quadcopter. You'd have to have a spotter, which I, I've used. Right. But what he's talking about is an automated system. Yeah. Um, that's getting pretty it's, fancy. It's, okay. You can buy cheap ones. You can. I've seen them as those for as a hundred dollars, but yeah. those are worth. $100. <laughs> They're a hundred dollars worth of tracking. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I actually tried. Uh, I was going to bring one on know-how. I tried a uh, system, an auto tracking system that mm -hmm. that was pretty expensive. It was like six hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. um, and the worst thing though is when it lost signal. Yeah. It would do this thing where it would like swivel the servos all the way around, try to reacquire. Start freaking out. Yeah. And it would only take three seconds to reacquire, but that's three seconds that I can no longer see what the craft is doing. <laughs> and um, that feels like eternity yeah. when you're doing FPV. You rip the goggles off. Oh, where, yeah. where am I? Oof. And it's remember, it's disorienting because when you rip the goggles off, the, the chances are you are no, you are not looking where the quad is. Right. Uh, so yeah, I. I wouldn't really recommend those quite yet. But we will show you how the directional antenna works. So we, we've got the setup. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to give this over to Burke. Nope. Burke's going to walk away from us for a while. We're so going we've got on a it. Trip. Right now, we've got it through going through this polarized antenna. <laughs> uh, so this is not the perfect setup. We are now yeah, using the Burke cam. Uh, yeah, keep going. Yeah, go, go down. There we go. And this is through like a brick wall and some glass. Yeah, exactly. Like, so th this, this is not bad, but it is, it's going to start breaking up in just a bit. Uh, this, you know, what you're going to have is when you have antennas that are spitting out energy in all directions, it, it's, you're going to start to lose signal pretty quick. Uh, there we go. We're starting to get a starting lot of static. Starting to get a little hazy as he's yeah, walking across yeah. the street. Okay, okay, we're starting to lose it. Uh, so this, yeah, this is what's going to happen when you have, when you have a, uh, oh, come on. I'm, okay, Burke, stand right there in the middle of the street. Go back to the don't middle of the street. Don't move, Burke. No, don't, no, no, just kidding, Burke. No, just stay there. We lost. All right, ah! so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook it up to this directional antenna. Oh, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to aim this to where Burke is, and you can see what kind of difference. Now, this, this is not ideal because this is not a circular polarized antenna, so this is far from ideal. But even then, you can tell I'm getting much better reception than I did with that other hmm. antenna. Go, go ahead and go back. Pretty cool. The, the problem is I, I kind of have to guess where Burke is, so I'm kind of going yeah, back and forth. Yeah, you're pretty close. To find the right signal, dial it in. That's yeah. way better, though. Yeah. So if I had an auto tracking system, it would automatically orient the antenna so that it was and in the uh, uh, in the perfect position to to, to grab that signal. I, actually, I bet he's right over. Now, if I start pointing away from can, him, can we notice... take it outside? <laughs> Is the cord long enough, Padre? No. 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 Actually, he's like, we're doing pretty well. We're, we're, oh. Oh, he just got honked at. Burke's dead. He's dead now. Sorry, Bart. Sorry, Burke. Come back in here. Leave Burke to his own death. Hey, Burke. <laughs> hey, you're hosting the show right now. Oh, right. Okay, Burke, come on back. <laughs> so this this is how this is going to work. Now, ideally, what I would want is I want a uh, since this that's using a circular polarized antenna, I mm -hmm. would want a circular polarized Jaggy. 
Right. Uh, this is not. So I, again, I'm not getting nearly the gain that I should get. And if what if he had like a directional antenna? The on problem his? With, with him having a directional antenna is he'd have to keep mobile. pointing it at me. Right. And that system's way too complicated and way too heavy to put on a quad gun. Okay, that makes okay. sense. Yeah. So mm. there you go, folks. Cool. That's what directional antennas will give you. And uh, if uh, if we figure out how to wait um, to make one of these inexpensively, we will definitely show you. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe. hold the camera uh, Andre steady. Or Brian, open the door for Burke, please. Oh, oh boy. man. Okay. All right, I'll grab it. Yeah, if Burke gets thrown run over right now, does oh, he get hey there. compensation? All right, see you later, Burke. <laughs> bye bye. You know, I, I will say we're that we're not letting him back in the building. That looks pretty dang good. Not bad. Hold on, wait. Hold it on. makes me want to fly my quad again. Oh, the one I, I'm never going to give back to you? Look, that's super solid right yeah. there. I mean, look at that yeah, so connection if, yeah, we if have. If you fly right your there. quadcopter right next to yourself, you'll get You're really, good. really good links. That's solid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bleep, okay, Bleeplerp says, better yet, what just cheat bleep, and bleep up, up the broadcast level. Uh, the problem is that that transmitter is on the quadcopter, so you'd be sucking down a lot of power to, uh, to up the broadcast level. So uh, I don't know if you want to do that. All right, I'm going to kill it. Why? Oh. Oh. Why do you always want to kill my fun? That's that's my job. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay.